What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to set up controllers in ASP.NET Core. And controllers are one of the most important parts because it's part of MVC. Or in my case, it should be CVM. You go through the controllers, you go through the view, and then you get to the model. And the way that you use controllers is you use URLs in a web page. Like it's really not that complicated. What controllers do is they control, um, hopefully it controls, or you see here in our URLs, the controllers actually control that. That's um, where your app is entering in terms of like the file structure, like club or, you know, index or pri index or home or privacy these are all almost like folder structures and the controller controls that and it seems kind of i guess the term would be innocuous it seems like it wouldn't be, really be that big of a deal but controllers do play a pretty big role and the how you decide to structure your controllers makes a huge difference so Whenever I tell somebody to think about like the larger like <clears throat> grand scheme of your app, your controllers, your views, and your models are going to be built around your your models. Like your controllers control where, what's entering the app, but the models are important because they're uh, your nouns. They are almost like the words that your whole app is going to be built off of, and I mean it in this sense. So. We have a club model now we're going to create a club controller and the way to the easily the easy way to just create a controller is you go to add you go to controller go to mvc controller empty and then you type in um, so we're going to do the club model first and you have to give it this naming convention it has to be club and or it has to be controller with your the name of your noun or the name of your model in the front of it or it's not it could you could still get it to work there's ways around that but really the the whole naming structure behind it is um you want your model in right before the controller so in this case we have a club model we want a club controller so uh visual studio already went and made a uh view for our, uh, a controller endpoint for us already we could in theory go to this one so i'll show you how the why this club is important this will boot up i've been having a lot of computer troubles lately i don't know what's been going on okay so club and here so we got our first exception and i did this on purpose <laughs> The reason why it's not found is because it's searching for a web page. The controller controls where it's entering, but it doesn't control where this view is being seen. So right after this, we have to go to our views. We need to create another folder and we need to add club. Once again, our view, our views are based off of our models. Just keep, keep, keep that in mind whenever you're, you're looking at it. So, we're gonna to go to razor view and we're just gonna call this one index because we want it to match our function name, our function signature. So right here, the index is going to be the, and this is just convention. There's, I don't think there's any code that's like in the back that needs like this convention. This is just something to make it easier for you, but the name of the function is going to correlate with your view. And your view is this. It's a CSHTML file, and this is pretty much where your HTML goes. This is why they call it a view because it's you're viewing it on the web page. Hello index. And let's just see, make sure that we have this uh, controller. So hopefully we gotta reboot it back up. And now let's see here. Club. Hello index. We have our very first controller set up and hopefully that wasn't too difficult. So 
uh, other words that you may not be um, very familiar with is what is an I action result? An I action result, if you want to, you can right click and you can go to definition, like you can go inside of it. And I think it's either here. Um, usually it gives you, let's see, I think it's in here. So in one of these, it's going to it's going to give you all different types. You could uh, send back like a not found, like you could send back not found and not, or not found, and all of those are going to work because I action result is allows you to do that. Um, you can you you just have to return this like an I action result and you're good to go. But in most cases, you're just going to be returning a view and. Um, these will get more complicated as time goes on, but just remember that you're, the person or the user is coming in, they're almost in a uh, visual sense, they're hitting this controller, and then this is going to be what's returned to the viewer, and in this case, it's a view. So next thing, we, we need to keep moving on here. We need to create our uh, controller for our races, the race controller. So we go here, we're going to go back or going to create MVC controller race controller going to go add and it's going to be the exact same thing and remember that we could just go ahead and run this but we need we need to cr go down here and create our view because without our view it's just controller and models and we need to be able to show our data because and we need that view we need our html so we're going to go down here going to create that the other folder for the races let's see here races then we're going to go to add we're going to go to view Going to create an index and we'll just go down here test out our controller so hello races we are good to go and that's pretty much it for the controllers uh for now we're gonna have to create other controllers as we continue to go on but just for right now this will be wait a second I think I got something mixed up. Oh, I gotta rename this. It's gotta be race. And hopefully that worked. And we've got our controller set up. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.